In this video, we study type of a frequency distribution that is a normal distribution. In this video, we study some prerequisites and example on the normal distribution. If the probability of success is very small as compared to n, that is a number of trials which is very large, then we use a normal distribution. Now for a normal distribution, there is directly table value we have for the probability. Only thing we have to convert this x into the z. So for that, remember this formula. z is equal to x minus mu upon sigma. Mu is equal to mean and sigma is nothing but a standard deviation. So once you convert into the z, we get the probability value directly from the table. Now with the help of example, we go for the normal distribution. In a sample of 1000 cases, the mean of a certain test is 14 and the standard deviation is 2.5. Assuming the distribution to be normal, find how many students score between 12 and 15 given that. So uh, remember this, the probability is given itself. Probability of Z is greater than 0 0.4 is equal to 0. 1554 and the probability of z is less than minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.2881. Now here you want to find out the mean and the standard deviation. So mean is 14 and the standard deviation is 2.5. So let's solve this example. And value of x1 is equal to 12, x2 is equal to 15. Now we calculate z1 is nothing but x1 minus mu upon sigma z1 is equal to 12 minus 14 by 2.5 so we get z1 is equal to minus 0 0.8 similarly we get z2 is equal to 0 0.4 now we want to calculate the probability of x between 12 to 15 so subtracting mu and dividing by sigma we get 12 minus mu upon sigma that is z1 less than x minus mu upon sigma is z less than 15 minus mu upon sigma is z2 and we know the value of z1, z2, the value of z1 is minus 0 0.8 and the value of z2 is 0 0.4. Now understand how to calculate this probability by diagram. Now this is nothing but a normal curve. The area below the normal curve is total 1. Here we require the area between minus 0 0.8 and 0 0.4. This area we require. Now what we have in the question itself we have a value that is probability of value less than minus 0 0.8 and we have the value of probability greater than 0 0.4 so if we observe we exactly require the middle area of this so we have a value of this but we require exactly the middle value so if we subtract this value from the one we get exactly what we required in the diagram one so this is how we get a probability minus 0 0.8 is less than z is less than 0 0.4 is equal to 1 minus the probability of z is greater than 0 0.4 minus the probability of z is less than minus 0 0.8. So we substitute the value. So after substituting the values we get 0 0.5565 is a required answer. So remember for normal distribution first of all try to draw the diagram you definitely get a proper answer. Thank you. Thank you. Visit again. Do your best.